Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're all okay. Sorry about the, the dark, like it's pretty dark, but I completely forgot to record a video. So at least I'm doing it now than like missing a video, if you know what I mean. Um, but basically we're talking about Jake Paul versus Ryan Baller, and I'm very happy with Jake Paul's performance. It was very good. Um, I obviously predicted around three or four. And then he did it in the first round. I was obviously wrong. I did say that he does do things like very early or it can be late. Like, it's not usually in the mid round, so me saying three or four was a bit stupid, I'm not going to lie. He got it done in round one, which I'm very happy about. It was very good. Um, I was a bit annoyed, a little bit annoyed, just because I wanted to see more from Jake, and I'm guessing everyone else did. That's why he was annoyed at his own performance, because he wanted to show off more skill. But either way, he showed that his jab, his jab has gotten so much better since he lost to Tommy Fury. His jab has been a million times better. And you can hear the punches, like, it, you can tell it hurt Ryan Ryan a lot. Jake just, I was just like, if Jake just unloads on him here, the ref's just going to stop it. And that's exactly what happens. So Jake just unloaded, because that's what he did with Nate Diaz. But Nate Diaz actually managed to survive Jake's, like, unloading. And then it went, obviously, to went the full 10 rounds. But in the first round, Nate versus Jake Nett versus Nate Diaz, uh, he unloaded on... Nate and Nate managed to survive it, but I'm guessing Ryan because he's like so much older and he it's so weird, he has so much experience and he does something like that. I really understand why an experienced fighter with that record 17 and 2 does that to a YouTuber. You know what I mean? But either way, very happy with Jake's performance. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the performance. Jake's gonna be fighting next, but he said that someone I heard somewhere that it's gonna be announced on Monday possibly. Um, and he's it just shows that the record doesn't mean anything either. Like, he he obviously called out Canelo, <laughs> which is a bit like, okay, at the end of the fight. But it just shows the record means nothing. 17 and 2, and he gets him around the first round. 10 1, first round. You know what I mean? Jake's just cleared on another level. Even though he's a YouTuber, he's on another level. And then you've got Ryan Garcia talking, disrespecting Jake, just because apparently he's disrespecting boxing because, he, because of his fight, which makes no sense. But that's another video. We're going to talk about that. But let me know what you guys thought of Jake Paul versus Ryan. Guys, in a bit. Take care. Peace.